What's up everyone, ENZT here, and I get a gameplay for you of me. Oh wait, I don't have a gameplay. Oh no, black screen, oh no. I just want to... I. I just want to point out something that uh, people have been uploading the Black Ops Zombies trailer, and uh, <clears throat> well, it's not really a trailer actually. To be fair, it is a teaser video or a preview video. It is not the entire trailer, and to be fair, you know, there's not that much shown in it. But I just find it so annoying that uh, people are, uh, you know, they're they're reposting it with just this raw video, and that's it. And obviously, like as someone who believes in fairness and everything, that's just annoying that people are just, you know, reposting it. Like, how I, I don't understand what's the point in that and why you even think that's even fair for other people. It's like, yeah, we could go repost it too, but it's just like, that's just money whoring. And really, so now I'm going to show you guys up. I'm going to show you guys what the fuck is up. So I'm going to actually break down it. I know, that's such a problem. It's so hard to break down a 50 second video. I know. So come on, let's go watch it. So judging by the ambience here and all like the sort of like wildlife you can hear and all like crickets and everything, frogs, you can totally tell that it's actually going to be taking place within a swamp for the first level or whatever this is supposed to be. If this is the first level, it's supposed to be in a swamp apparently. I kind of remember something from a while back that it was going to be in some sort of city, but I, I honestly can't remember for the life of me where I saw that. So, you know, just judging by the, uh, the teaser that uh, the first level, whatever this is, it's going to be within a swamp. And, you know, obviously that's not that much because we're only like, you know, we're, we're five seconds into it, so it's, you know, whatever. Now here, I just want to know, did anyone else hear that? I'll play it again real quick for you. So what that tells me is that there's at least two new people within uh, this sort of storyline that's going to be happening here. Whether or not we're going to be playing as them, uh, from what I heard at least, there's two different uh, people. Both have a southern accent, but I don't know what they're saying though. Can't exactly tell what it is. Maybe it's like we're here or something like that. We're here now. I thought I heard now somewhere. But uh, I, I can't think of uh, anything that they could have said. But this only this all tells me that um, two things at least. There's going to be at least two new people introduced, whether or not we can play as them. Maybe they're like those two um, those two explorers within Shangri-La. Maybe it's the same sort of thing with this. Um, it's the same sort of like plot line with two people that we have to kind of help. Now, the other thing that tells me is that there are some sort of survivors um, within the apocalypse now, whatever this zombie apocalypse is. There are going to be some sort of survivors because obviously someone's driving the bus. You know, there's two people talking that we can hear them. Uh, from our knowledge, there are no zombies that can actually talk coherently. Because these are two communicating, um, you know, beings, obviously. Whether or not you can hear what they're saying exactly, they're obviously communicating with each other. And they don't sound like zombies, obviously. And so, uh, you know, there's going to be survivors. People survived the blast from uh, from the missiles on Moon. So, uh, you know, whatever you guys want to take that as, you know, there's going to be survivors at least. And so that just kind of introduces the ability to have more people. So here we can see a bus driving up to a bus station, gas pump, whatever it is. I'm not even too sure. It just says bus on it. But we can see that the silhouette of the person driving the uh, the bus is actually what looks to me like a robot, actually. You know, unlike what I said before, it actually looks like a robot is driving the bus, you know. Uh, so what that means is that absolutely nothing, actually. Um, I st there's still the human voices that, um, you know, you could hear before. I don't think that was some sort of, like, you know, recording because, you know, wh where would that come from? And you could hear the static of the radio. That wasn't happening before until the bus drove up. So I think those were actually human beings still. Um, on the screen that I have paused here right in front of you, you can see, uh, you know, license plate is XB79. Honestly, I'm going to say that that has nothing to do with anything, but with Treyarch, I'm so tentative about saying that, is that, you know, there's, that's going to be some sort of, like, Morse code hint to, you know, some location in Los Angeles that they're going to have people go find and pick up and decipher on what it means. Treyarch is weird, so I don't know if there's any sort of significance to the, you know, having the, uh, the license plate as XP79. I don't know why they would, you know, make make it so that pans across it for some reason. You know, I, I just feel like not XP. I feel like Treyarch just likes to mess with us and throw us fake clues. Because I feel like this is not a clue, but you know, at the same time, I'm like Treyarch likes to fuck with us. I don't know. But anyways, uh, to be honest, I don't think it's a clue. But you know, there's always that slim, slim, slim chance. So here we go. I'll play the video once again.
you know, other than the fact that you can hear a um, a robot talking from the driver's seat, there isn't really too much to talk about. Right here, though, you can see that there's a mystery box location right there. Other than that, there's there's really not that much to talk about. So uh, on to the next clip. Last but not least, we are going to be talking about this little slow-mo clip right here, because you can actually see a lot of stuff in this just one still frame, actually. Uh, so, first of all, we can see that the zombies now have blue eyes, obviously. Um, you know, it's going to be a continuation of the story. A lot of people wanted to point this out for some reason. I saw this a lot in the comments, actually. You know, oh my god, the zombies have blue eyes. Rick Toffin's still in control of them. It's like, no shit. Of course he's still in control of them. Rick Toffin is still in control of the zombies. Let's get that through right now. The blue eyes kind of indicate that. Now, as you can see with him tearing off the uh, board on the... Uh, on the bus right now the bus is going to be used as transportation you will not be able to drive it i'm going to say it right now you're not going to be able to drive it the robot's going to be driving it uh i've had i had like five or six people tell me on twitter like oh you get to be able to drive a bus and zombies now no you know you're not you're not going to drive a, you're not going to drive a bus you know that's that's not going to happen uh, it's going to be exactly like the zip lines were in Call of the Dead. They're going to bring you from point A to point B like a teleporter, but it's it's, it's just going to show the animation of you going through. The only problem with this is that while you're in the bus, whether or not you're actually like driving around in the bus or whatever, you're going to be able to be attacked while in the bus because zombies can obviously, from this clip you can tell, the zombies can jump onto the bus and start tearing off the boards. Now, one person did uh, uh, did mention this, Oscar Maikia. Uh, he did mention that uh, you could start off in the bus, and that is a total possibility. I will be able to say that is a very possible, you know, a possible thing for it to happen. Like you start off in a bus, and you can, eventually you can buy your way out. And you know, I could I could see that happening. But to be honest, I don't think it's going to be, you know, I don't think it's going to be a starting room. I think it's going to be more of a transportation, like a teleporter. Um, other than that, um, in the background, I want to point out also. Uh, that doesn't look like a zombie to me. Uh, I'm just going to throw that out there. It doesn't look like a zombie. It looks like a person wearing normal clothes, but I could just be totally wrong. If you guys can't see in the picture, go to the actual Call, Call, of, uh, Call of Duty uh, video. I'll have, I'll, uh, I'll have the link in the description if you guys want to go watch that. Uh, you definitely go should. You should because it's going to have a lot higher quality than I can get right now. You know, I can only get the 720p download, then I had to take pictures of it. It's just getting over-processed, so it probably doesn't look that great as a screenshot. But um, as you can see by what circle, that kind of looks like a person to me. That's I'm just going to say that right now. That kind of looks like a person to me because, you know, it's wearing normal clothing. It doesn't look like it's running like a zombie, like all crazy. It looks like he's trying to run away from something. So, you know, that's just my idea of it. I don't really know if that's true or not, obviously. Uh, so other than that, there's nothing else really to talk about. Um, can't wait for zombies. Zombies has always been one of my favorite things, if you guys haven't known. So, uh, no, I, I really can't wait for that. And yes, I will be buying the game. Oh, no. He's buying the game. The, I think one of the reasons I only buy Treyarch games now, what, the only reason I have Black Ops, the only reason I have World of War is because of zombies. So, uh, you know, just going to tell you guys that now, at least. Um, dinosaurs. I'm also looking forward to dinosaurs being in zombies. You know, that's going to be fun. Uh, Yodi Slayer confirmed. Well, not confirmed, but he predicted it, so uh, all credit to him. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this breakdown. Hopefully you guys get to see how to get shown up, because that is that is how you break down a video. That is how you get shit done. Thank you for watching, though. See ya.